Hello, welcome to Korea University. Welcome to Freshman Academic English 1. My name is Professor Kent Lee. And yes, my last name is Lee, but I'm not Chinese or Korean, obviously. Lee is an old English word also. You can find it in an English dictionary. My name is English American. I'm from the States. So today we will do the course introduction. We will look at the syllabus, the Kanyi Gehek, which you can get from the Sugang or course registration site or from Blackboard. We will talk about Blackboard later. So today we will talk about the changes in the course due to the coronavirus epidemic. We will talk about the general policies of the course and the details of the syllabus. We will talk about the general course contents, what we will be doing, including the midterm final project. And we will talk about other policies and details in the syllabus. And then I will introduce net the lesson for next time. So due to the coronavirus, at least the first two weeks will be done online. The uh, university could extend that if the situation continues uh, to worsen or not improve. The midterm and final weeks have been pushed back about a week. They will push into the summer a bit more. The first two weeks will be online. Aside from that, there's not a whole lot we will know. This is the first time we've ever had to do this, and so it will be interesting. There will be some online assignments through Blackboard for the first couple of weeks, and hopefully we will meet in class in a couple of weeks. The syllabus looks uh, something like this. There's a nice scary picture of me. Uh, I don't have, I don't use a textbook, uh, not a standard published textbook. What I will have you do later is go to a print shop near campus and buy my own book. This is maybe Mon 1 or less. Uh, you will buy this from a print shop, not a regular textbook. It's a lot cheaper and better that way. <coughs> uh, this will be made available later, probably in April. For now, I will provide the contents, the materials that we need in PDF on Blackboard. I will also have a class website later, and when it's ready, I will let you know. There is information about me, contact information, and the times of my various classes. This is academic English. It's not Hagwon English. It's not advanced Hagwon English. This is not just English, but this is focused on college skills, like reading and writing and presentation skills that you will need for college. Especially at this university, we have a Yonggang policy or English instruction policy where some of your courses, even in your major areas, will be taught in English. And some of the work you do will be taught in English in other courses. So this class is designed to help prepare you for that a little bit, Academic English 1 and 2. We'll try to prepare you for some of that, as well as skills for later on, like on the job or if you go on for further studies after university. The main components, um, attendance and participation. So you'll be graded on attendance. That will not start until probably April uh, because the first two weeks are online. Usually we don't even take attendance until after the ad drop, the course ad drop period. Uh, in this case, we probably won't start checking attendance until April, but you will still need to do assignments online through Blackboard.
there will be minor assignments along the way, uh, various little homework assignments, uh, small paragraph writing assignments, maybe some short in-class assignments. There will be some online forms through Google Forms I will ask you to fill out. These minor assignments are maybe worth you know, 10 points or 20 points or 30 points and at the end of the semester I add them all up and convert it to a 100 point score. So you have attendance, you've got minor assignments, there's a midterm which will be related to a project and there will be a, near the end of the semester a group discussion assignment and a paper. There are no in, major in-class exams. I don't really do traditional midterm and final exams. Instead there will be a project. Uh, there will be a midterm and then a couple of final components. The final will be a group discussion uh, component and a paper which you will do at home and turn in through Blackboard. So one other note about the project, the semester project. Um, for the midterm and final project, this will all relate to um, a film related unit. Uh, you're going to form groups and come up with an idea for a film. So the midterm will probably prepare you for that and then for the final project your group is going to come up with an idea, develop an idea for an independent movie as if you were producing your own independent movie. Um, and then you're going to discuss it in a group discussion activity as if you are trying to persuade a group of investors to give you money to uh, finance your film and then you'll, you will write an individual paper about your project, uh, about your film project. So there's an individual paper and there's a group discussion project. There are grading criteria for that, for papers and for the group discussion project. Uh, I will grade you uh, based on your own performance in the group discussion project and how your whole group discussion fits together. In the syllabus there is a tentative timeline. This will probably change somewhat, but this is a rough timeline of the topics we are going to do in the course, and you can look at that. Uh, when it comes to assignments, some minor assignments my, I might ask you to print out, uh, type and print out and bring to class to turn in. Some things will be turned in through Blackboard or maybe email. For those kind of assignments, it, I prefer that you use a standard word processor format such as PDF, LibreOffice, Google Docs, Microsoft Office, um, not really HWP. Uh, Hangul Office or HWP does not do English text very well and it's also hard for me to open because I don't use Windows. I'm, I, I hate Microsoft with a passion um, and I use Linux. There are policies about grading here in the syllabus that you should read on your own. It gives the breakdown of what is an A+, plus, an A, a B+, plus, and so on, and approximately how many people usually get such grades in the course. I will check attendance starting in April. That means you need to be in class on time. You can be absent probably twice without any penalty and after that uh, I will start to penalize or take points away from your attendance grade. I will also check people who are late or very late and there are penalties for that too that are explained here in the syllabus. Uh, the syllabus will be in the course packet, the course booklets too. Um, you will also need to participate in class. We will do a lot of class group discussions and class activities. In order for you to learn from the class, you need to participate in class activities, both whole class discussions and group activities and group 
discussions. Uh, otherwise, you will not really learn. So this is not Hagwon English. This is academic English. You have learned a lot of English, but you have maybe not had a chance to practice it. Well, this class is going to force you to use it and practice it by talking and by writing. And there's a lot you already know, and you just have to learn to use it. So you will need to use English in class. Uh, and all I ask is that you try. You will make mistakes, and that's fine. You learn by making mistakes in a language. It is necessary to make mistakes, so don't worry about makes, making mistakes. You just need to try to speak and write in English in class. <clears throat> it's important that you pay attention in class and uh, not play with your cell phone. You can use your phone for something class related or your device. Uh, dictionary lookup, for example, or finding materials online for assignments. Uh, there are some other policies in here in the syllabus that you should read on your own. If you miss a class, the first thing you should do is check with a classmate and find out what you missed once uh, live classes begin again in April. Contacting me, there are several email addresses in the syllabus and I have a Gmail account, a Code account, and a Naver account. Um, if you use a Korean email address, it's best if you probably contact, write to me at my Code or Naver address. If you use Gmail or some other international mail server, it's best if you maybe email me, email my Gmail account because sometimes emails get lost between Korean and international mail servers. I may not be able to reply to emails quickly in the evening or weekends as I'm taking care of my son sometimes, but I do my best to keep up with emails. <clears throat> um, there's some other information in this about uh, contacting me and other policies. There's also a section of useful tips if you don't have Microsoft Word, there are other programs you can use like Polaris or LibreOffice or Google Docs for your assignments and uh, other technology tips and resources are in here. Let's talk a little bit about the online component the first two weeks. We will use Blackboard. These videos and other materials will be posted on Blackboard. <coughs> Okay, Blackboard and Portal. You have used the Portal system already. That is one system that Kodai uses. Your course registration, Sugang, is part of the Portal system. Another system that Kodai uses is Blackboard for course contents. You should have received a message from me through Blackboard, an email. I sometimes send emails through Blackboard to the entire class. Uh, Kodai should have a working email address for you. If not, you should set up your Kodai email account. Go to mail.korea.ac.kr, set up your Korea University email address. Um, that will be helpful for Portal and for other things as well. As a, stu as a student, you will need to use email. If you have a job someday, you will need to use email. Uh, so if you are not used to using email, you need to get used to using email regularly. Uh, after you have activated your email address, or if Portal and Blackboard already have an email address and you have received email messages for me, uh, go to KULMS, that means KU Learning Management System. Uh, that's the Blackboard. Sign in and figure out how to use Blackboard. It's fairly easy. Uh, usually, uh, uh, usually after you start your first semester, you would have an orientation session where you learn about that, but you will have to learn this on your own, and it, but it's fairly easy. And finally, there will be a course website that will be up later where links and materials for the class will also be available, uh, including materials in addition to those in my course booklet. Now let's talk about some of the first assignments, some of the first minor assignments. 
you took a placement test that placed you either in regular uh, or foundation academic English or um, intermediate, middle, or lower level academic English. The test is not always perfect, so usually we also have our students do a little diagnostic or secondary assessment just to make sure they are placed in the right level. So I'm going to ask you to do that. That's your first assignment. It is not for a grade. I will not grade it, so don't worry about that. Uh, I'm going to ask you to submit it on Blackboard. I will create uh, an assignment space, a place for you to submit it, uh, upload it to Blackboard. And it's pretty easy. This is just a sample of your writing, uh, just so I can make sure that you are in the right class. Or all of us, all of us professors in this department want to make sure you have been properly placed in the right level. So we all do something like this. So your first assignment, it is bef due before the next class. First thing you should do right away uh, today uh, is to do this. There, I will send an announcement to you or you can log into Blackboard and see all of the messages that I've sent you and there will be a message about the secondary assessment or diagnostic. And I'm just going to ask you to write a short paragraph introducing yourself. Tell me about yourself, your major, uh, why you chose your major, or maybe why it chose you. And tell me about where you're from. If you're from another city, tell me about where you're from and something interesting about that place. Uh, if you're from the Seoul area, tell me uh, what neighborhood or area you're from and tell me something interesting about your area. So tell me about yourself. Uh, tell me anything else about yourself that you would like me to know. Just introduce yourself and where you're from. Maybe something interesting about your area uh, and maybe something interesting about yourself. That's your first assignment. It is not for a grade. I just want to check your English level. The next assignment, this is a real assignment, which was a minor assignment. It's a fairly simple survey form that you will do online. And this is a Google form. You don't have to do it right now. I will send an announcement later. It will be due next week, the second week. Uh, but I will basically ask you to fill out an online form with some information about yourself, including a couple of email addresses. And the reason for that is when I send feedback to students on major assignments, I like to send it to two email addresses in case one doesn't work because of email problems. So I will ask you to provide me two email addresses and some other information about yourself. And then there are some survey questions that ask you how you feel about your studies in English. Uh, and just fill that out honestly. Uh, there is no right or wrong answer. There are no right or wrong answers to that. I want to know your honest feelings. Uh, and that is for my own purposes. Uh, maybe for my research purposes. Um, there's no right or wrong. You just get 10 points for answering all of that form, the survey form, honestly as best you can. Uh, simple 10 points if you do it on time, if you do it by the end of the second week. Uh, later on, maybe the second week, there will be an email assignment or some kind of assignment like that um, after that. So your first assignments, the diagnostic or secondary assessment, which you will do in Blackboard. Number two, a Google form, an online form assignment. And then later, I will tell you about your next assignment, which will be an email assignment. All right, next class, we are going, we are going to talk about vocabulary. Uh, I'm a linguist by background, a linguist, that is my background. And one thing I find interesting is English words in Korean. And as a linguist, I find them interesting because uh, often in Korean, you have changed the meaning 
and it is actually interesting. And you have used these words and you may or may not realize that their meaning is different in Korean. Uh, and it's quite interesting linguistically. Um, it's very creative what Korean has done and I just want you to understand better how uh, the Korean language has done this and has often changed the meanings or even made up new words from English parts which are not originally English words and it's very interesting. We'll talk about that next time. Uh, so I will see you next time and good luck in this new semester. Goodbye.